Prudence is missing. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. I'm worried sick. What if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy! She has been gathering the evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. That is all going to stop now. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. Picked some here. She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground. Thank you so much, Kona. Thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. I saw some primrose growing Where? there, and the bear just came charging at me. Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for a long time now. I read that evening primrose and... Rodents! Are you all right, my love? I'll be fine. Thanks to Kona. Thank you, Connor. Once again. Connor! Connor! Some louts trying to break into our house! He's armed! I'm get Stop! What's the trouble, Connor? Saw you tear past chasing a man. He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? Oh, the women! Is everyone all right? You should have been there. What? I told you to head back. I didn't I need you. Since when is a skinny runt like you safe out in the bush alone? If Diana's hurt, I swear you'll be the one paying. some sense knocked into you! You need some sense knocked into you! Come on! 
on, scapegrace! <laughs> Time I set you straight! You all right? There's no need for this. Yeah. He's a blockhead. Don't kill off in a spell. Just need some time is all. Are you not angry, Godfrey? Me? <laughs> not at all. Terry's just got himself a temper, and I won't let him get away with it. It's really no trouble. He'll calm down. The runt couldn't do much damage anyway. Does this happen often? Ha! Ah, I was just telling Lance how I can set that calendar by these events. It's really not a worry, Connor. But I appreciate your concern. A little help, s'il vous plaît. Please, Shove ah, off, Mike. Go back to where you're you doing. Thank you, my friend. They had a little too much beer and didn't like the sound of my voice. I was only talking to that girl. Your accent is unfamiliar. Where are you from? North of here. Province de Quebec. And what brings you to Boston? I am a miner by trade. But it's hard to find work. People don't listen to me because of my accent. It might be our meeting was fate. I hail from a village just a few miles north of here. There are the beginnings of a mine. I do not know what is in there, but you might find what you are looking for within. I'll come have a look. If there is something good, maybe we'll talk, eh? Hello, sir. Would you like a draft of ale or some bread and cheese? Connor, this here is Oliver, and that is Corrine. Great people. Ollie, this is Connor, the man I was talking about. The Lord of a Manor. We were passing through his hall and met some of your townsfolk. They were thirsty, and we had some barrels in the back, and... I am no lord, and these are my friends, not my townsfolk. What brings you to the road with a cart full of spirits for sale? We were innkeepers until the king took our inn for some military such and such, left us out on our round part. Hey, you should settle here. We could use an inn. Good idea. <laughs> we would. But without the inn itself, we don't have much choice. And building one isn't cheap. We certainly have a need for something of the sort. I will speak with my friends at the mill and see what we can do about building ourselves one. If it can be arranged, would you consider ending your search here? Of of course, Ollie. We'll have an inn again. Connor, come with me downstairs. Should I search for something to fill that space? No rush. Eventually, the right piece will present itself. As you wish. There's a chest in a cave on the edge of the property. Could you retrieve it for me? I would go myself, but these old bones prevent me from getting to it. Take uh, Norris with you. The cave entrance is blocked with heavy stone and will need to be cleared one way or another. 
Norris, I'm going to fetch something for the old man. And he told me there might be some stone that requires clearing. Yeah? I will bring my explosive. Miriam is interesting. Certainly not your typical colonial woman. A deadly shot. She brought down that cougar. She is strong, capable. She has no husband? Not that I'm aware of. I never met a woman like her before. I would like to know her better. You should speak to her then. I might try. Hey, don't splash. Don't want to get the powder wet. Do you think she likes Frenchmen? I see why he encouraged me to enlist your services. What problem? We blew it up. Be my guest. Duck and cover! That's a nice one! Thank you. Bienvenue. Doesn't look safe in there. Be careful. I'll be at the mine. What you said about Miriam is interesting. I was close. I have what you asked for. I must know who put it there and for what purpose. I did. I put it somewhere I knew only I could reach. But that was a long time ago. Who does that belong to? These were the robes of the first assassin to come to the colonies. Norris. Um, you know Miriam? 
Of course. What does she like? I want to give her a gift. I really do not know. Uh, all right. Let me call on Prudence. She may be of service. Prudence. Good day, Connor. Norris is trying to court a woman. What do you women like in terms of gifts? A nice bunch of wildflowers always brightens my day. Who is it Norris fancies? Best not say for now. Fair enough. Best ones are atop the bluff to the northwest. A bit tricky to get, but they grow large and healthy in the full sun. Are you in there? Uh, we? Oh. I will find you a little later then. No, no, it's all right. What is it? Prudence advised a bunch of wild flowers. Really? Are you sure? It doesn't seem right. I see you are getting along again. Oh, aye. <laughs> We're uh, always at each other for one thing or another, but more often than not, we work it out in the end. It's just the thought of my family threatened got me hot under the collar. And? Terry knows he couldn't beat me in a fight. You rat! That's why he built this bold pitch, so he could beat me at something. Still can't, though, can you, Terry? I was winning till Connor came along! Sure you were. You want to tell him, my love? I'm pregnant. Congratulations. It's been a long time coming. It does present a slight problem, however. There's no doctor for miles. Well, then we should find one. I know of one that may consider moving here. His name is Dr. Lyle White. It's been a turn since we last saw him, but you might try his old house in Boston. Dr. White? No. He's the drunken sot around the corner. If you can get his attention, tell him I quit. All this ire on him. Not worth getting caught up in it. I have a family. Sheets. Dr. White. Yes? My name is Connor. And what can I help you with? Another quote for the broadsheets for you to twist against me? I'm here to make you an offer. Don't you know who I am? I'm the doctor the British have been slandering all over town. White death. No? 
I was given your name by my friends Warren and Prudence. Prudence is with child and requires a doctor's hand. Prudence is pregnant? Ha! They've been trying for years, it seems. Maybe getting away from Boston is exactly what I need. Ah, Connor! Your work procedure. Now it's time to finish the job. I'm told this chap just materialized from the ether and nobody has a stones to, you know, challenge him. Until now. But we'll need a gang. A gang of our own. Fight fire with fire. About time we did something about those brutes. I want in. Good on you. That's one for the lads. Come on. Let's gather the rest. Bar's closed. Get out. Was a Templar. What? Like the Knights Templar? Jesus. I they were a spook story. They are very real. I'll take your word for it, lad. Well, it's been a real pleasure. If ever you need a hand in uh, whatever it is you're up to, I'm your man. Welcome to the Regulars, the most feared, respected, and revered fighting force on God's green earth. Some of you are here by choice. Others, not. Regardless of the circumstances of your joining us, you are all brothers now. And the only way you have a chance of surviving is if you trust your brothers. One weak link can kill a whole squad on the field. I want you to think about that long and hard. That's one of them that's responsible for this, rounding up the young ones and shipping them off. We need to put an end to it. What is your plan? Uh, kill him, then the rest, and set all them boys free? It's a good plan, but it lacks detail. How is your aim with that rifle? I can pop a muskrat's head from a quarter mile nine times out of ten, and the ten's a misfire. That should do. Cover me from up there. of you will be getting on that ship and setting we assassins strive for peace through freedom and the templars they want only to control well i'm for freedom i know that much if your order needs a good rifle sign me up you do not partake no sir i need to stay sharp in case you call upon my rifle spirits do me in right quick Drank half a flask of rum out in the bush with my brothers a few years back. I went for a run in the buff before I found myself rolling around in deer scat being sick all over. I don't want to go there again. No, thank you. Smart choice, given the circumstances. I want to fight like you someday. You have everything it takes to be a great assassin. And that means something coming from you. Where did you learn to shoot like you do? Ranging with my dad and brothers in Virginia country. My family's been surveying and prospecting out there since my grandpappy. How did you end up here? I'm the youngest of four brothers. I was always gonna be a runner-up with them. So I set off alone to do my own business. Out west of Ohio's territory that no man of the colonies ever trodden. 
Figured I could find contracts out of New York. Then the war started. And you sided with the Patriots? Not really. My family's for the King. I just don't like seeing boys forced to fight against their will is all. But I know that I want to be free. For all to be free. If that means I'm a Patriot, I guess I am. You are an assassin. Nothing else. That I am. I'm proud of it. Bad news. She did not like the flowers. She tossed them aside. But Prudence was certain. I knew Miriam was not the type for flowers. I will uncover this mystery myself, Norris. All right, but please don't let her see you. She will think I'm bizarre. Norris, I looked around her camp and it seems she needs a new hunting knife. The one she is using has seen better days. Oh, oui. That seems more right for her. I'll think on it. Merci. Could use your help. Suis moi. I want to build her a new knife of steel I make special. I know where to get iron, but the mine belongs to the English. Will it take long to gather? No. A couple of blasts and I will have what I need. I just need you to stand watch. I will wait for you at the mine. It's not far, just off the property. I need to prepare some explosive. My guess is the bang will bring some unhappy English. <laughs> no doubt. I had best prepare some things myself. Got everything! Time to go! Bagor! Another tough guy, boys! I have him! Back off! <clears throat> Are you hurt? <sighs> Nothing that won't mend. Thank you, stranger. What were they doing? This lot was dragging me through the countryside, trying to make an example of a deserter. Sorry now, who are you? Connor. A deserter, you say? Don't much agree with the fight, and uh, I love this country. So there you have it. The name's David Walston. My friends call me Big Dave. Might I ask where you live so I could repay the debt when I'm able? It might take us a while. Us smithies don't earn much coin these days. Our community is not far from here, and we certainly could use the services of a smith. Would you consider plying your trade there? Well, it would make repaying you a spot easier. Huh, I just might. What is it, Prudence? I feel silly bothering you with this, but Warren's taken a yield to market in Boston. Could you round up the livestock for me? I've tried, but this baby in my belly takes the wind out of me. Of course. I will see to it.
Thank you, Kona. I could never have managed that. <laughs> it was my pleasure. Are you well? I am. And I couldn't be happier. Warren and I have been waiting a long time for this. And if truth be told, we could not dream of a better place to raise our family. <laughs>